Hello everyone, you're all welcome. You should definitely watch this video from the start to the end to see how I prepare this delicious, good looking igusi soup. I use the frying method. You will love it. I'll be using goat's meat, cow leg, bomo, and smoked mackerel fish for this soup. First of all, I added onions, salt, bouillon powder, thyme, and some seasoning. I'm going to make sure I stir everything together and then add a little water it is very important to add your water like not to add too much water in the first place because you want all the spices everything to cook together with the meat so my meat is ready i'm going to set that aside and then go on with frying i added my palm oil in my pot i'm going to let it hot a little and then add my onions after stirring the onions i added also a little amount of crayfish dried crayfish the reason why you do that is because you want that aroma like the crayfish to go in properly. So I added also the pepper mix and thereafter I'm going to stir and then cover to let cook. After letting it cook for um, 15 to 10 minutes on a low heat, I added my seasoning. I also added some bouillon powder. I'm going to stir, stir carefully and then I'm going to add my meat. So guys, this is my meat which is already cooked. My goat's meat, momo and cow leg. So I'm going to stir and then add also my smoked mackerel fish. Thereafter, I'm also going to add my egusi which I've already grinded. Okay, I grinded it in a smooth way. I'm going to use the spoon to um, turn it like this a little and then cover to cook on a low heat for at least five to ten minutes as you can see guys after 10 minutes i open my pot i'm going to add my smoked mackerel fish the reason i added the fish now is because i want it to uh, go in with the soup like so that it will blend very well okay so that's that i'm going to keep on using my spoon to do that and then cover to let cook again for another five minutes and guys as you can see after five minutes i'm going to carefully stir the egusi and also add my bitter leaf the bitter leaf is dried but i used um hot water to um wash it like to make it a little bit softer so i added also some seasoning and after that some uh, some uh, bouillon powder as well and also the meat stock like the water i used in cooking the meat don't worry don't worry the water is like that because it's from the meat it's very okay as you can see the goosey is still very looking good so i add, i added the rest of the crayfish and i'm just going to stir add a little water and then stir again and cover to let cook on a low heat for 25 minutes on a very low heat guys yes it is very important to let your igusi cook because if it's not properly cooked it will disturb your stomach so also the bitter leaf is also very important if you add it you will not have any stomach upset okay i always add bitter leaf to my igusi if not i can't eat it it will just upset my stomach so that's it guys after cooking for 25 minutes the soup is ready that's how i prepare this delicious egusi soup you are seeing here guys thank you so much for watching from the start to the end if you like this video please don't keep it to yourself help me to share comment like and tell me what you feel about the video thank you so much and i'm going to say bye for now and definitely see you in my next video all right till then Bye.